Hey everyone, this is Ducky on behalf of Enhance. In our first few videos, we introduced you to the basic gameplay, story, and user stages in Humanity. Now it's time to dig into the Stage Creator, a super intuitive interface for making your own levels to play locally or share with the community. When you first open up the Stage Creator, you'll be taken through a short tutorial on placing blocks, gates, and goals, and playtesting the stage. Then you're free to create or explore tutorial videos that cover more advanced techniques. The palette has a vast assortment of building materials you can use. Pushable and motorized blocks, conveyor belts, turning walls into climbable walls, adding fans, water, ways to battle with the others, all kinds of goals, multiple gates, boulders, slopes, start switches, trees, shrubbery, and more. You can customize the theme, music, and cosmetics of the humans, too. You can make almost any kind of stage seen in the story mode, or something entirely new. We'll make a quick and simple level to illustrate how to get started. To create platforms, let's open the palette and choose the standard block. You can place them one by one, or save time by selecting and copying multiple elements you've already added. Now we've got our platforms and we're thinking we'll get the humans to jump between them. Let's add some height to our stage by selecting multiple blocks at a time and using a button combo to change the position on the y-axis. There we go. Next, we'll place a gate and a goal. You can adjust the flow of people that walk out of the gate if you want, but we're just going to use the default today. There are multiple types of goals that allow you to tweak the wind condition, a constant flow of people, a set number of humans, a single goldie, or multiple goals. We'll just go with one standard goal. The Player Commands tab lets us choose what commands the player's Sheba can access. We'll add Jump in addition to Turn. After creating a basic layout, we can enhance it by incorporating a switch. We'll use this switch to make one of our platforms appear when the humans walk over it by selecting the switch, choosing Connect Switch, and then highlighting the blocks. Now they'll be invisible until the switch is activated. This last platform is too high for a regular jump, so we'll turn it into a climbable wall. We'll need to place some more blocks to make the wall first, then add the climbable texture to it like this. Let's add another switch, this time a block switch to make the final platform appear. We'll place all the elements and then connect everything up. Switches have the ability to make something appear, disappear, start, or stop. They can be connected to almost anything, and you have the control to determine if things remain active after being pressed once, or if they require constant pressing. Additionally, you can choose to pause the game action to show the user what change the switch made. Before we give our level a try, we'll add a goldie for players to pick up. Okay, everything's looking good. Let's play it. Did you see that? Our pushable block fell because nothing was holding it up. Not to worry, we can simply detach the block below it from the switch to prevent it from falling. While we're making adjustments, we'll move some of these platforms around to make our stage less of a straight line. We can select and move multiple objects at a time. We can also tweak the starting position of the Sheba. This determines the view and direction of the camera when a player starts our stage, and the thumbnail shown off in user stages. As a final adjustment, we'll change the stage theme and music. These are important steps to take so your stage stands out and sets the right vibe. After playing and completing the stage, we'll name it, select some descriptive tags, and share it. And that's a look at the stage creator in Humanity. Be sure to subscribe to Enhance Experience on YouTube 
follow us on Twitter, and join our Discord community. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more on humanity.